and digital loans have gone up by 20% starting the 1st of July this year. The new rates follow the 20% excise tax on all microloans offered by digital lenders under the new Finance Act. A statement by the G Digital Lenders Association of Kenya has said its members that are currently licensed under the new digital lending regulations and those that are yet to get an operating license will be required to remit the excise tax to the Kenya Revenue Authority on behalf of borrowers from the 1st of August 2022. The lenders say small businesses dependent on short-term loans to transact will be the hardest hit as the new tax will be loaded into the pricing transferred to the consumer as a cost. A report by Digital Lenders released early this year shows that 13% of Kenya's populations have taken digital loans from more than 120 digital lenders operating in the country. As of April 2021, the lenders were disbursing over $2 billion per month in loans. Treasury proposed to tax digital lenders in a bid to show up revenue after developing regulations to govern the industry. A statement by the Digital Lenders Association of Kenya has said all its members currently licensed under the new digital lending regulations will be required to remit the excise tax to Kenya Revenue Authority on behalf of borrowers from the next month. The current Excise Duty Act defines other fees to include fees and commissions from licensed lenders, meaning any fees, charges or commissions charged by financial institutions relating to their licensed activities. This widens the bracket on cost, meaning the borrower will be charged more when the financial computation is done. The deduction will, however, not include interest on a loan or return on a loan or any share of profit or any insurance premium or premium-based or related commission specified in the Insurance Act or regulations. Therefore, interest is excluded from the deductions. Reporting for Lunchtime News, I am Teresa Muta.